Hi everybody, welcome back! Sip City, well, it's not really Sip City. Uh, I mean, we are working on Sip City still. Uh, we are in San Francisco, established last episode. We have another city in the region now. Uh, this is like a, a feeder city. It's gonna feed uh, residents and shoppers and stuff into Sip City, which you can see uh, beyond all the haze and smog <laughs> from the industrial powerhouse that is Sip City. Uh, we can see it from here. It's very pixelated, but it's still pretty cool. It's uh, very uh, accurate in representation, all the same buildings and everything. They're just not rendered uh, very well. Uh, I guess that's just to sort of speed things up and keep things going. Uh, but it's cool. All the people from Sip City are, are coming back. Well, not all of them, uh, just the 892 people that live here and commute into Sip City every day and back. Uh, a couple of them work at these fine little establishments along the avenue here. Uh, but there's still a couple of things that we need to do in uh, San Francisco before we, uh, before we leave it. Uh, go back to Sip City and, uh, and do some more things to set up. Uh, mass transit is going to be something that we're going to need fairly soon. We can play some bus stops courtesy of Sip City if we go back to Sip City later. Set up a regional bus station. That would be quite nice. Uh, it means that people can take the bus uh, to get to work uh, rather than driving and clogging up all the goddamn roads. Uh, that being said though, traffic hasn't been much of an issue yet. However, we do have a small population and as it grows, it's going to become an issue. Uh, building density, I think people are thinking about it. No, not even. Not not really likely yet. Uh, they need to be very happy and very profitable, and uh, these people are just getting on their feet. So that's fine. Look at these commercial businesses as well. They're doing okay. They're, they're doing not too, 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 too bad. Uh, 25,000 big ones in the bank. We're making 933 bucks an hour. We could probably make more if we want to by raising the taxes ever so slightly to 10%. Look at that. 1,107 an hour now. We'll leave it at that. That should be fine for now. We shouldn't need to take out any bonds or anything uh, for this city. Should be should be good. Uh, do we want to have like a rich area over here? I know that Sip City needs a lot of rich people. We could probably do with having like a very exclusive rich area over here. I don't know if there's going to be much demand. Oh yeah, look, regional demand has finally kicked in. Uh, we need a lot of everything, which is very good. Uh, it's nice because it means that everything will um, build up very quickly in San Francisco and uh, we shouldn't have too much of a problem waiting around for density and stuff like that. So that's good. Okay, let's, uh, let's think about getting some mansions then. Uh, I quite like to have like these like curvy roads off into like a rich area uh it's quite hard to build them up and make them look good but we'll work on it we'll, we'll work at it and see how we do so let's have a road here that juts off the avenue and then sort of weaves in through the am i on curvy roads i am it's because oh, it's because the guides look at the fucking guides are always okay guides get out of here we're getting rid of the guides we're gonna have this curvy road come up. Oh, look at this. Oh, what a beautiful, oh yes. This is the curve I'm talking about. Look at this curve. Uh, we kind of want it to like come maybe like this though. Snake around. We, there we go. Close to the, oh yeah, look at this. People have a view of the river from here and everything. And uh, we don't need to connect it. We won't connect it. We'll just have a, like a big, random u-turn out here <laughs> and then we can have some nice mansions and stuff along here i think that'll be okay it'll be okay for now it's a bit of a waste of space i suppose but it doesn't really matter if we go into nature here let's uh let's get some forests planted look at this can we do this it's kind of weird sometimes it, it doesn't let you like plant forests everywhere look plant them like crazy around here but for some reason it just doesn't want maybe the soil's like not good enough for forests around the shore here i don't know we want this to be as wooded as possible anyway uh because we don't want the rich people to be able to see these non-rich people that's that's terrible rich people do not want to look at non-rich people they only want to look at other rich people or their ferraris and that's that's the rule of rich people uh, because every rich person has a Ferrari. I mean, come on, you can't, you can't avoid it. If you became rich one day, or maybe indeed if you are rich at the moment, uh, you can't say that you wouldn't get a Ferrari first thing. I mean, everybody loves a Ferrari, uh, including me. Uh, I love a Ferrari. I don't have one though. I should, I, I should, I should aspire to get one one day. Maybe like when I'm like 65 years old, I've retired. I can get a Ferrari and drive it around, look really cool with my sunglasses on. 
fantastic. All right, let's try to get some mansions over here then. We'll get some residential set up here. Let's try to get another mansion here if possible. Uh, do we want a mansion like nestled into this curve here? Hopefully, that'd be nice. It'd be nice to get a mansion there. And uh, maybe one here too. Hopefully the trees will block the view from the really crappy avenue. Because uh, rich people don't want to look at all that. They're, they're too rich to care about all that. Uh, okay, we got to pimp up this area of town as well. I don't know if this is really going to work. Uh, we can try to make it work. It'd be nice if it did work. Uh, so we got plazas that we can uh, we can use to make uh, people super uh, rich move in. Or, or formal. I don't know what the difference is. Fountain plaza? Flagstones, fountain, flowers. What else could you ask for? I can think of a couple of things that I would want to add to the fountain plaza uh, if, if they're asking. But... You know, may maybe that's enough for some people. Flagstones and fountains and flowers. Uh, raises high wealth land value uh, and accepts 24 visitors per day. Uh, that, that'd probably work, actually. What about this small fountain park? That looks quite nice, actually. Look at this small fountain park. We can have it, like, just across the road here. Or maybe we can have it, like, here to get a little bit better coverage. Maybe we can have it here. It'll be, like, a nice sort of communal... Uh, park area for all these rich people they'll never come to it though because they'll, they'll just stay in their houses because their houses are probably just so spectacularly fantastic to begin with uh do we want to connect this what was this this was a small fountain park we could have it connect to a bigger fountain park like out like this oh look at this oh that's fantastic it doesn't quite connect but it's nice because you have to like sort of walk over this grass there's this big fountain right in the middle. Look at these people are just like absolutely creaming themselves. It looks like actually the area of influence is expanded out to here. And these people are, I think, building medium wealth, uh, which is quite nice, actually. Uh, fenced fountain plazas. No, fountain plazas. Oh, look at this. We can have them like jutting off the sides. Was that a fountain plaza? It was. Okay. Jutting off the sides. Look at this park. Holy shit. Look at how cool that park looks. What's this? Reflecting pool park. Oh my god. Look at the size of this bastard. Holy crap. It is huge. Uh, do we want some small fountain parks attached to the sides here too? Man, that is an elaborate park system. Maybe not actually. Let's see where we're at with that. Does that, does that come close? Oh yeah. Look at that. That's pretty good coverage, actually. Uh, these people should have no problem getting up to uh, high wealth. Let's leave that for a minute and see what happens. We can upgrade the density of the roads so that maybe these can become like big apartment buildings for rich people, which will hold even more rich people. I look a little bit out of place on this windy road, but it's quite nice. So, sort of like the like the Beverly Hills, <laughs> like little Beverly Hills, sort of like how you get like little China and stuff in a big city. This will be little Beverly Hills inside San Francisco. And, and it's called little Beverly Hills because it is very little. I'm sure Beverly Hills is much bigger than just one curvy, um, artistically styled road off the, uh, off the main Avenue. I don't know though. I've never been, uh, maybe if you live in Beverly Hills, you could let me know, but I always imagine that it's just one curvy road off, off, off an Avenue with a bunch of rich people living on it. Uh, maybe that's the case. God knows. Okay. Uh, we've got a lot of money. We've got a lot of money per hour. Health is something that we're going to need to, um, to get, well, we're going to need to get a fire station as well. But because we have some medium wealth and we're going to aspire to get high wealth as well, let's um, get on top of health straight away. And uh, we'll put it onto the avenue so that the ambulances can get to all the people they need to straight away. I think that's somewhat sensible. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe we could put it here, actually. Although, no, we probably want it here because I think it's a boost to land value as well. And uh, from what I remember, these people didn't quite get the medium... Uh, land value that the rest of these got from this cool park in the middle here. So let's like place it right here and see if we can sort of cap it off there. That'd be quite good actually if that worked. Uh, land value. I want land value. Well anyway, we got the uh, the clinic down. Blue like most of our treasury uh, halved our hourly income, but it was totally worth it. Oh yeah, look, it has it has it's worked. That's fantastic. Look at this. This is great. Look at this influence. 
touches everything now. Touches everything it needs to. And look at these rich people. These rich people are just laughing over here in their in their little Beverly Hills. What a bunch of fantastic bastards. Um, demand? We have no demand for commercial. No regional demand for commercial. Which I'm not too sure about. I'm pretty sure Sip City had a little bit of commercial demand uh, when we were last in it. Maybe it's been fulfilled now. God knows. Uh, low wealth, medium wealth seems to be dropping a little bit. And there's still very high demand for high wealth uh, residential. I guess uh, now that we've got some high tech firms opening up in Sip City, they need managers and they need like owners and stuff like that. That's where these chumps are going to come into play. They're going to manage all the factories and, and do a great job. Uh, we could do with getting some education set up over here as well. We could also do with getting some police and fire coverage. But all, all that will come eventually. We don't need to worry too much about it. We can just wait now for these areas to increase in density. We can make a little bit more money, which would be nice as well. Try to get some high rises and stuff. But there's no rush. We, we eventually probably want to get a water pump out here too. Let's see. Water pumping station. Look at this. Oh, look at this water tile. None of this is going to be polluted either. It's going to be fantastic. We'll try to get the water pump down here by the river too, so that it just has like endless amounts of water to pump out. We can send it all over to Sip City. It's going to be great. Oh my god, look at that. It's so fantastic. God, it just... It doesn't rustle my jimmies. It does like the total opposite of rustling my jimmies. It just makes my jimmies feel like very, very good. Look at all these people. Where are these people walking to? I don't get it. Are they just like... Aimlessly walk. Are they trying to walk here? What a bunch of dumb bastards. Why would they do that? Look at them. They're just skipping along down this sidewalk to nowhere. Maybe they're going to visit their friends. There's no buses or anything. And if you can't drive, I guess you're kind of screwed. So maybe that is what they're doing. Let's take a look at traffic now. Looks like uh, rush hour traffic for the evening is coming in. Oof. It's going a bit red. Mass transit could be something that we're going to need fairly soon. Look at all the traffic coming out of Sip City. God damn. That is not going to bode well for the already terrible traffic problems we have in Sip City. The fact that we've set up uh, San Francisco uh, and gotten, well, not a huge population, but enough anyway. And with, I think, the traffic modeling in this game being sort of broken uh, for the time being... It's not going to bode well. There's going to be some pretty big traffic jams. That being said, though, these avenues seem to be clearing out fairly quickly. Not too many problems with cars coming down here. Of course, the pathing is terrible. It looks like they've all come down here, gone into this uh, street to try to uh, dump themselves into these houses. Uh, uh, an entire army of cars. Uh, when all these houses filled up, there was still cars left over, so they all had to path back down <laughs> try to go to the next street. Not the best, but... It, we got to put up with it until there's a patch or maybe it's working as intended. I don't know if it is working as intended I'll have to come back here and try to fix this uh, traffic system But for now it seems to be okay a couple of little jams, but nothing It's not absolute gridlock or anything so it should be fine and in due time or due course We can get some mass transit buses and some trains and stuff eventually as well uh, And that should be fine. Okay, so San Francisco is now working as it should uh, we got a little bit of population. We're waiting for the density to increase. Uh, is anyone aspiring? Yeah, people are getting there eventually. Slowly but surely. We'll leave them for a bit and come back uh, and then see how they're doing when we come back. We'll hop over to Sip City, see how Sip City is doing uh, and let it sort of uh, take into account the fact that this city now exists and uh, some of the demand, the regional demand for residential may have been fulfilled. Uh, and we'll see how we're doing over there. So let's do it. We'll jump over Sip City, which is doing okay. Look at how much money it's got. Holy shit. I didn't notice that we almost had like a million bucks in the bank <laughs> last time we were there and we left. That is fantastic. My God. Think of all this cool stuff we could buy with a million bucks. Jeez. We could buy like an airplane. We could just buy one airplane and no airport. Just have like an airplane in the middle of the city uh, and just sort of tease people with it to say... Well, you could fly on this airplane, but, you know, we haven't built an airport, so you're just going to have to look at the airplane for now. All right, San Francisco's shoppers are commuting into Sip City to do some shopping, which is great. Look at all these moving vans and stuff coming in. This is really good. Uh, Llama speed. Let's see how we're doing. Is traffic going to be a problem, like, straight away? It takes a little while, I think. It takes a little while for... Oh, look at that. I, I have arrived <laughs> to take a tour of the city that I 
So I'm just I'm just sort of moonlighting in between cities. It wasn't a very very long visit either. I just sort of came by to uh, to see City Hall. Uh, got very upset that this city hall is much better than the town hall in San Francisco, and then left uh, disgusted, which is probably isn't the best. Uh, herds of people walking around. It looks like we are approaching uh, the nighttime rush hour. Let's see how the roads hold up. There's lots of traffic coming in from San Francisco at this tender hour, <laughs> for some reason. You'd expect a lot of traffic to be going out of the city. Uh, it seems to be too well. I say that it seems to be doing okay. This this look at this stretch of road. It's going like sort of like dark yellow. Not the best. These people are waiting a very long time now. It's going into the orange. It's gonna be red. So, oh no! It may no no. It's it's very bad. It's like total gridlock. We're gonna have to sort this out. I think these uh, buildings along the avenue here aren't helping either uh, with people trying to like come in and out of them. We may need to move this commercial area back uh, off this main avenue and then back nestle it in here somewhere and then just pimp it out with parks and stuff like that. Um, most of these are gonna be fairly furious anyway because there's just a ton of land pollution underneath them. You can really do with just getting a bunch of trees in there. Another really bad traffic hotspot here. God damn it. Not the best. Um, these seem to be holding out okay though. These these little connecting roads onto this avenue. It's just um, it's just this intersection here, which needs to be sorted out. Well, let's do it. Let's uh, let's take a look at what we got. Let's try to sort it out. We'll see if we can do it. So let's dezone commercial here. There is no demand for commercial right now, so effectively we will be uh, artificially creating demand <laughs> for commercial by knocking most of the commercial down in the city. It's one way of doing it. Uh, it just means that when we replace the commercial, uh, there'll be big demand for it and it'll all grow up and uh, make like tons of profits. So that'll be great. Okay, uh, we want to take a look at the germ map, ground pollution map. It's not, it's not the germ map. It is the ground pollution that's causing the germs though. Okay, great. So all these germs are bad for our health. No longer marginal returns. Knock that down. Conglomacorp, aw, it, it, it is such a shame actually knocking these down, but we gotta clear, we gotta clear up this ground pollution. Look at this, vacant business. It's just some shitty little gas station nestled in between all these high rises. Uh, the penny pop up, Hagen's tax is also gone, the tax preparation center. Uh, a bit of a shame. Let's get these nature, I hope we can put trees down, god. Can we? Can't even see it with this on. Uh, we can kinda. There's like two trees. Oh, okay. There's a couple of trees there now. We can't, we can't really plop trees down, which is a goddamn shame. Uh, this is like no man's land now. The ground pollution has just gone completely out of hand. I don't know if these medium tech places are gonna pollute even more, but that's okay. We've at least gotten all of these buildings off of this main avenue for now. Uh, we can relocate them back in the city somewhere else and hopefully tra the traffic flow will be much better along here. Oh, look at how bad this is. <laughs> we should probably feed uh, a little bit more onto here as well. So this is a little bit of a problem. Although the problem doesn't stem from here though, it's just getting caught up on in this. Look at these cars, where the fuck are they even going? Why are they U-turning here? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, we'll just leave that for now. Uh, we probably have, yeah, we do. Look at this massive demand for low and medium wealth commercial now that I've knocked over uh, probably half of our commercial. <laughs> uh, let's set up a little area for commercial in here uh, to start with. We'll have like just a little square of commercial in here uh, with some high density. We'll go high density straight away. We want a square? We probably do. Let's have a square of commercial like this so that it has lots of room to expand. And we'll just have it along the one side of the road, like we were doing in San Francisco. And that should be fine. Oh, look, it's got more than enough room. It could have been even smaller, actually. But if we want to fit some parks and stuff back there, we can. So that'll be fine. So let's do that. See how those fare. They're fairly close to all of this. Uh, we could probably do with having some commercial along these avenues here because these avenues, of course, feed into the main residential areas of Sip City. And uh, the people driving by will be able to stop at the commercial uh, premises along the way, home, and, uh, and do some shopping. And that should be pretty good. Uh, we could probably do with actually 
<laughs> knocking down all of East efficiencies, probably all of these, and uh, and having some commercial uh, stem up here. Although it's gonna probably get polluted straight away because of these goddamn oil wells. Holy shit, that's not the best. We've gone in the hole as well, money-wise, and that's probably because I knocked down a whole bunch of commercial buildings. Hopefully they'll build back up uh, fairly soon and we'll go back into the green. Doesn't really matter though, we're still making a ton of money from all the stuff that we're exporting, all the crude oil, fuel and plastics now. Uh, Sip City of course has become very industrial, uh, which is very good. Uh, so it means that even though we're sort of in the red uh, budget-wise on an hourly basis, which is creeping back up, uh, we still have over a million bucks in the bank. Uh, so we're, we're officially now millionaires. Uh, which which is a great feeling. God, I've always wanted to be a millionaire. And now I actually genuinely feel like a millionaire. Um, oh, God, I look at Sip City and I just think, we've come such a long way, haven't we? Look at this. We've got a baseball field now, which is closed for the day. We've got all these really cool buildings. Look at this. We're making like a shit ton of daily profit off petroleum. Look at that. We're like halfway towards our, our next upgrade, our next goal, which is really, really good. Uh, industrial demand uh, will probably be affected slightly now that we've taken all of the commercial off this avenue and allowed these industrial areas to expand further back, uh, which is very good. Uh, do we want to have another road feeding into here now? I think we probably could. I know I took this one out, but it might be worth doing actually now that there's no commercial on this side, having this one not get too, too congested. Mm. We should, realistically, actually, we should probably connect it up again with another high-density avenue, which would mean tearing down half of these industries here. I kind of regret doing this straight away. I'm just going to get rid of it. Why did I do that? I should have just left it. There we go. Here we go. Uh, we don't want to get rid of the water treat, the sewage treatment plant. God damn it, can you imagine? What a mess. Uh, ground pollution is probably very terrible. Is that the Wong household? Holy shit, I didn't know that the Wongs were living in Sip City. That's fantastic. Oh man, I forgot about all these. That I, I can play around in this little area now, because look, they got all the, the sour household, the, the honeycut household. Upgrade roads to increase density. I don't want to though. I'm, I'm quite happy for you being low density down here. I think Uncle Phil is very happy as well, except that Apparently taxes are killing him <laughs> softly inside. Uh, let's take a look. Ground pollution doesn't seem to be spreading. Although ground pollution over here, that seems to be uh, fairly consistent with what it was last time. Uh, it will expand eventually though. These oil wells do produce a lot of ground pollution and the old oil refinery here is going to start producing a lot of ground pollution too, which is a bit of a problem. So it's a shame that we couldn't actually place trees in here to start sucking up some of this pollution, but there you go. I think, well, we want this place to be industri as industrial as possible, but we don't necessarily maybe need all of this crappy industry down here. Look, not enough room to increase density. Didn't really plan this out very well uh, with with all these roads and stuff. That's okay, though. Uh, the other town over here, though, we could potentially expand out to, put some industry in there, uh, maybe fulfill the industry needs for the entire region. I don't know. Worth thinking about? You guys let me know. You tell me. If you want me to do that, I don't mind doing it. I, I will do it if you, if you let me know and, and you want me to do it. it. It's not a problem for me. Um... Okay, how's this commercial doing? <laughs> Not very good. Look at this. Oh, they're they're annoyed because this area apparently isn't very healthy either. Okay, let's let's take a look. Uh, health. No, we don't want health. We want to take a look at pollution. What's causing the pollution around here? Is it air pollution? It is. Yeah. Look at it's air pollution <laughs> coming in from where? I don't know. This is being pushed in from here. It's slowly shifting down. I don't know if it's because of the recycling center or what, but God, there's big pockets of air pollution. It's got to be said. Uh, it's sort of gusting in from here over top here. Luckily, it hasn't sort of impacted all of this area too, too much. Uh, but there's just like a huge gigantic fart cloud hovering over here. And these Commerce Gardens is complaining. It, it does not think that a fart cloud is very good for business. I don't blame them either. I mean, I wouldn't want to set up a business in the path of a fart cloud. That'd be friggin' awful, unless uh, unless you were selling, like, bottled farts or whatever, in case, in that in that case, you'd probably be like, holy shit, we've just hit the gold mine. Get the, uh, get the vacuum cleaner and the paper bag out and suck up 
all those farts as fast as you can. It's uh, you know, it's, it's just huge profits. But um, I don't think a business selling uh, bottled farts would do very well because I mean, let's face it, all you got to do is just make your own farts, hotbox your room. Uh, if you have like a computer room, hotbox it, and uh, and bask in the smell of your own farts all day and night if you want to. Uh, I mean, I know I do. I'm sure you guys do as well. Maybe you wouldn't admit it, but but I'm sure you're all doing it. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say, I'm sure you're doing it. Uh, students in class. Community college is packed. Look at that. We could teach more students with an extension wing. They're going to need an extension wing. We've got a lot of money. We can build an extension wing. We talked about needing one eventually. Look at this. Luckily, we can place a stupid extension wing any goddamn place we please. Well, within, re uh, within reason. It's got to be somewhat close to the college, but it doesn't need to be on campus, which is very nice. Uh, so we can probably place one here. There we go. All these bastards will have to go over to this extension wing. Costs 375 bucks an hour. Uh, it costs us 12,000 bucks to place. Is that a problem for us? I don't think so. Look at that. We, we are just swimming in money right now. Uh, so we can now teach a thousand students, which is very good. We need to teach as many of these people as we can uh, so that we have a really skilled uh, workforce. Regional mass transit, would you like to learn how to ease regional traffic from the highway? No, I, I, I know how to do it. it. It doesn't always work, it's got to be said, but I do know how to do it. Look at the education level. Holy shit. Four graduation hats out of five and, and moving, moving towards five, which is great. Uh, once we get a university, we can upgrade to super high-tech industry. Look at this. We've got a uh, tech level two heavy industry being created. I hope that's another box factory because I love box factories. Especially if this place manufactures just a shit ton of boxes at all time. That would be great. In my opinion, that would be fantastic. Um, density seems to have increased somewhat over here. These people are somewhat happy uh, since placing this medium field with barking. Wow. Look at all the people in here right now. Four homeless people uh, to 25 kids and 187 residents. That's not bad. It's a pretty good ratio. Um, it's probably better than, than most... Uh, park ratios in the real world. So, uh, by that token, I, I think I'm doing a good job. Uh, what was that? Commuting sims. Do you want to learn about sims and freight traveling between cities? No thank you, toots. Get out of here. <laughs> Stop bugging me. Every time. God damn it. Uh, we're approaching uh, nighttime rush hour. Let's see how our traffic system holds up. Uh, we may need to get streetcars soon. They're very expensive, though. Uh, we'll definitely go into the hole uh, if we start using them, which is which is a bit of a shame. God damn it. Uh, we're approaching 5 o'clock in like one second. Okay, it's rush hour. Hang on to your butts. <laughs> it's all happening. Uh, it doesn't seem to be too bad. Look at this. Uh, where is everybody? They're all getting caught down here. Uh, all the garbage trucks are getting in the way. How's the dump doing anyway? We're doing okay. The dump is doing fine. Uh, garbage collection, I think, is very good. Look at that. Look at the recyclables as well. People are getting educated and they're recycling more. Um, wow, nighttime rush hour. Was it, is it 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock? I think it might be 6 o'clock. That seemed to go way too well. Yeah, it is. Look, 6 o'clock. Traffic is increasing slightly. What's she saying now? Great works. Do we want to learn how to build a great work? No. Please, lady, come on. Uh, this isn't too bad. Look at this isn't too bad. It's not too congested. It's it's fairly bad in here. Uh, we could probably do with connecting this up realistically. Uh, do we need to do that, though? Probably not. Oh, I just realized, actually, we can probably get rid of this road in the middle here. It means knocking down this apartment building, but it's okay. They can build an even bigger one in its wake. Check this out. Here we go. That might decongest this a little bit. See, now they have an alternate route. Oh, look at that. Straight away. It's made a huge difference. Look, not to the people that are stuck in the gridlock, obviously, and of course now this, this new road has become massively gridlocked as well, but it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help in the long run. It, it will definitely help. Oh, look, it's already sort of like petering off, which is fine. It's only 8 o'clock at night. It's only taken like an entire day for these people to get back home from work. Um, 
so hopefully the uh, businesses and stuff in Sip City have like a really good like shift pattern uh, where they can take into account the fact that it probably takes you an entire calendar day to commute back home uh, even though you live in the same city uh, because the roads are so bad. What can you do though? There's not much I can do. We're gonna have to get streetcars eventually. Uh, we're gonna have to generate some more money per hour in order to get streetcars though. Uh, so we'll work on that. We'll work on that uh, fairly soon. Oh, what's going on here? Where'd all this commercial come from? I don't remember putting this commercial here. I certainly don't want it here. I want to move this commercial. Get out of here, commercial. I regret putting you here in the first place. Uh, we'll never know what that was going to be. The old times, the gone times. Solvent Savings Co. Dissolve. Cut and dried. Cut. <laughs> Sold dollars. Fuck off. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything to say for that one. Okay, great. The avenue is, is all cleared up now. Maybe we can have some more luck placing some trees on the other side here. Will it happen? Oh, look at this. Great. Oh, look. Oh, fantastic. We can actually place... Look, I'm clicking like a, like a maniac. Like an absolute maniac. Oh. Oh, look. We can put some trees, nestle them in here. Oh, and there too. Oh, in here too. Oh, look. Hopefully we can soak up some of this ground pollution. Along here would be great too, so that it doesn't spread into our nice little mini suburb, uh, which is a little bit of a waste of space in Sip City at the moment, but we'll, we'll keep it like that for now anyway. Okay, so ground pollution hopefully will get sucked up by these trees before spreading into this residential area, which is very good news. Uh, we could probably think about doing the same around the oil wells too. Can it happen? Will it happen? It might happen! Oh! You gotta love trees. Look at this. I love clicking the trees. I love the sound it makes. Very good. Dish, 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 dish. Okay, we'll let those forests grow. Oh, look at this. We might be able to suck up a lot of the ground pollution out of these oil wells. Oh, or actually the trees will probably just get massively overwhelmed and die. Um, I don't know if you remember when we first started Sip City, this was a big luscious forest which is now just a complete hellhole uh, because of oil fields. <laughs> Just like in real life, basically, when they start drilling oil somewhere, it becomes a hellhole. Uh, it can't be helped. How are we doing traffic-wise? I'm, I'm obsessed with my traffic now, which is very bad. This is just very bad traffic. Uh, it probably make more sense to actually sort this out here with this high-density avenue. Look at this. We're going to sort it out. We're going to have a high-density avenue here on an intersection. We're going to connect high-density street here at the bottom, which doesn't seem to want to connect. Can we... <laughs> that did not work out very well. Can we connect this? It doesn't... It doesn't want to connect. Is that connected? <laughs> it's kind of connected. Uh, in, in the, like, the worst possible way. We're going to have to get rid of that because it looks really atrocious. There we go. Uh, let's get a high-density street connecting like this then. And we'll get it off of this main avenue. We, we want this off of here. There we go. Hopefully that sorts it out. Uh, and this sort of complies more with like the feeder avenue onto the avenue because uh, these avenues just are equipped for these high volumes of traffic uh, and they can sort of get rid of them fairly quickly as well. Uh, all these people, of course, coming off of this high density road on onto the low density roads. Oh, what a nightmare. That That's not the best. Uh, it's because, look at this. I shouldn't have really put this here, this stupid road. Uh, I don't want to knock down the basketball court, though, because I think maybe the Fresh Prince might be there 24-7 playing, shooting some hoops with Jazz, and uh, I don't want to ruin their good time, so I'm going to leave that road there for now. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a problem. We're going to have to sort it out eventually. Now's not the time to sort it out. We will eventually sort it out, though. God damn it. Uh, let's see how we're doing for ground pollution. Let's see if these trees have done, like, anything. They probably haven't done anything. Well, I don't know. Has it... They're definitely beating back the, the ground pollution from spreading, which is good. Uh, I'm not sure if this shit stain has, like, gone a bit smaller. It seems to be trying to spread out here. Uh, it's maybe killing the trees, or maybe the trees will suck it all up. Hard to tell. There's a lot of trees here, though. We'll have to keep an eye on that and see if it works. Okay, so still massive traffic problems. We could do with some transit, mass transit. We're going to definitely have to think about getting a rail link uh, to San Francisco. 
Uh, street cars as well probably alleviate some of our problems, which would be very nice. Uh, we can think about doing that as well. How are these people doing? Uh, they are medium land value and they're fairly happy uh well they seem to be very happy they just don't want to increase in density uh our commercial demand has gone up uh we can keep that uh commercial demand uh, regional so that we can build some commercial in uh san francisco which would be very nice It'd be very nice to have some nice commercial skyscrapers uh in that city um and then focus more on the industrial aspect of sip city uh so that should be good um so doing well getting there still a lot to do um still a lot of work to do but we're slowly getting through it improving stuff um traffic really desperately needs to be improved but we'll get that we'll get to that next time um that's probably enough for now as usual thanks for watching and uh i'll see you next time